Hey everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have another Animal Crossing speed build. So you can kind of see that I mapped out a spot here on my island. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a chicken coop. So I have this kind of like little farm area going on over here with... Is it Renee's house maybe? I'm, I want to say it's Renee. Um, which she is probably not going to be staying on the island, I don't know. But for right now... Her house is here. But we have a little bit of a farm area. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a chicken coop. So that is exactly what we are going to do. I found some inspiration for this on Pinterest. And I was like, this is really cute. And I feel like that's actually fairly simple that I can do it. So it's just like a bunch of like the transportation stops, storefronts, and simple panels. And that's kind of about it. So you'll see here that I am just placing down another retro transportation stop. And then, I actually, like, you're going to watch me, I adjust this and the placement of it, I think, three times in this video, something like that. So, I will have the codes that I use down below for the simple panels if you are interested. There is three of them, I believe, so, it, it's, it's cute, I like it. Um, they are the different button codes than what I planned on using, but I felt like they looked the best and were, like, the most, kind of, like, cohesive. So you can see I've got some cute little chickens and I just kind of put them into place so they were in the middle. And then I put the other barn siding one over here. So you can kind of see how it comes together. Um, obviously there's a lot more to it than just this. But yeah, it is a very cute little area. I need to add more to it than what I already have. But for everything that like I did have, it wasn't too bad. And I was able to make a lot of this kind of stuff myself. The Zodiac rooster figurines are difficult to find. They're only available at like certain times apparently. So that was a little bit difficult. But you know I managed to make it work. And then this is when I go in and start like adjusting things a little bit more. Trying to see how I wanted it to look and how I wanted it, everything to kind of sit. But I'm pretty sure I ended up moving it all forward one at some point. I think I moved it back one and moved it all forward one. Something like that. Um, which was, I don't know, an interesting time to say the least. But I do really like the way that it came out. So I guess that's what matters the most. So I just went ahead and pushed everything back. So you can kind of see it taking shape even just like this. I hopped in because I have an egg hat. And I was like, I'm going to put this in here. Um, got apparently distracted by a balloon. So don't mind me there. But I have a little flesh egg hat that I put down in here. And I felt like it just kind of added to the area a little bit more. So I put one over here in this corner. And then I put another one over here right beside the rooster that you can see on the left. And then I put a rooster in the middle. So it was, I don't know, I feel like it's cute. I like being able to use little like hats and stuff like that. And like umbrellas are normally what I go for. I usually use umbrellas. But yeah, so I put another rooster here in the middle. And... I was gonna say I don't remember what else I did, but I put down some stacked bags. I had two different options because I wasn't sure what ones I was going to like, but I like the plain ones more. And then I put, that was it, the garden faucet. I put the garden faucet right here and I think I pushed it back one maybe? I don't remember. I know that I didn't fully keep the garden faucet directly on the edge, I don't think. It's been a couple of days since I've done this, so I'm not entirely too sure on my exact placements of things. But we went ahead and we put down another little rooster over here. And he just kind of got to hang out with the wooden bucket that I put beside him. Um, there we were, so that went right there. And then I had... I know I had the bug cage to put down. I had some fencing, a flimsy shovel. Um... What else did I put down? I, weeds and flowers. But like, you're kind of seeing the main basis of it already. It's just not all exactly in its exact placement, I'm pretty sure. So I went ahead and put down another little rooster over here beside the shovel. And I just, I wanted it to look a little bit more cluttered and like they weren't all just on the simple panels. Which is why I did this like this. And then this is the bug cage that I put down over here. I have so many of these bug cages in my storage 
from just doing like the bug events, I can't think what they're called, like the tournaments. I have so many of them from like Flick and the um, like rewards and everything. So I was like, you know what? I saw this being used on Pinterest for an idea like this. Um, so I'm just gonna run with it. But then I put down some barbed wire fencing, trying to find out exactly how I wanted to place it. And when I put down my fencing, this is when I realized everything needs to be shifted forward. So you're going to watch me go in here, pick up a bunch of things, shift things around. It's an entire kind of like time and a half because I was like, it's not meeting up exactly where I want it to, that it looks a little bit strange to have like the plain gap. So as you can see, like me moving the rooster up one, it just kind of like looks better. And I had to pick up my simple panels because I couldn't exactly like shift a lot of the stuff that I did have um, from behind. So I had to kind of just manually move everything. But it still ended up coming together. Um, I think, I don't remember if I fully like shifted everything. I know that this took me a little bit. So you get to watch me kind of like pick things up and move them from there. But like it did end up working out okay. I'm not mad about it. I definitely want to fill up the area a little bit more, so we might add in maybe like a horse stable or like cattle. I'm not exactly 100% sure on how I want to make up more room here, but I know that I want to do something. So you'll see here that I moved the storefronts forward, we shifted the transportation stops. I kept the storage shed where it was, I felt like it was in a good spot. And I wasn't too worried about it. And then I went in and I added in some more of the simple panels just to kind of form the coop again. So it just kind of sat like that. And then you get to watch me place everything down again. So we put down a wooden box with the rooster. I rotated it so the rooster was kind of peeking out a little bit more. Um, I put down the two egg hats again. Um, put the rooster down in the middle. And I can't exactly remember everything. I don't know. I feel like it's really cute though, but thank you to the inspo on Pinterest that I got this from. I will post a link to that down below because it was like how to build a chicken coop with no mods and I was like, I can do that. Like this is fairly simple. So I don't know. I just, I feel like it's fairly cute and I want to do a farm core like actual island at some point. Don't mind me getting distracted by another balloon apparently, but like I want to do like a full farm core island at some point. So to have some ideas like this already on the go. I feel like it's probably not too bad of an idea. So I put down another little rooster, we rotated him so that he was just kind of like hanging out. And I kept him closer to the garden faucet so that I had space for the wooden bucket. And I feel like it just, I don't know, I feel like it's cute. Um, and then we put down the flimsy shovel again so that it was in the right spot. I don't know, I like putting down like the flimsy tools as decoration. And then we added some more fencing. Um, which I could not figure out exactly where I wanted the fencing to go for the life of me. That was fun. So I think I ended up having it in the right spot. I think. Um, I came over here to like test it out to see how I wanted it here. Because I knew that I wanted to block off the chicken. So and then I had like the second chicken just kind of like peeking out through the fencing. But like I feel like it's pretty cute. So there you can kind of see how it all came together. I went and I added weeds. I added flowers. I need to obviously add in some more pathing, which I haven't done. Um, but you will get to see me go in here and just grab the stack of weeds that I have. So I could go ahead and add them in. And I wanted like very specific weeds. I wasn't like overly picky at all points. But at some points it was like someone was like, that doesn't look that good here. So like this glass one that I just put down in the dirt. I didn't love it and then I couldn't get the light one here so you watch me pick up and drop so many weeds. Um, just because I was like, I want them to be different, I don't want them to all look the same. So I was like, that one works because we haven't used it yet. And then I just, I don't like the glass, the one that looks like glass. It's not my favorite weed. I feel like it just doesn't go as well like with the aesthetics of things. So we went ahead and we did that, but I now that I'm placing the weeds down, I have everything in the exact placement. So I guess I only did it a couple of times. And then um, we put down another weed over here at the corner. And then I wanted to put a flower right here, which I had to go ahead and run around for. I wanted, I think, a white mum. Um, and I wasn't sure exactly like where I had spare ones other than 
up at the cliff tops because at this point I had not done the like I hadn't finished up with the butterfly garden that I uploaded on Friday so as you can see I was doing this all at like the same day but yeah so that butterfly garden is now actually finished if you wanted to check that out I will link it in the cards but we'll go ahead and we placed the white mum down and I think that was about it I want to say that's all I did so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did you can go ahead and hit the like button down below if you want to see some more videos from me you can go ahead and subscribe I post videos typically three to four times a week right now if you are already subscribed and want notifications when I post go ahead and hit that bell down below make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on and I will see you all next time bye lovelies